Hey guys, welcome back. Today's topic, buffering on Cody. Guys, buffering on Cody is either in our control or out of our control. Remember, Cody works with scraping sources out of the internet and giving you your content to actually view, watch and listen to. Remember, things that are out of our control will be servers are too far, servers are slow, uh, your internet line speed, those things are out of our control. But where we do have control over it, I'm going to give you a heads up today. So keep viewing. Firstly, you're going to go to settings. You're going to go to file manager. And you're going to add the source. You're going to click on add source. And you're going to click on none. Then you're going to enter this media source that I have here, http colon forward slash forward slash top tutorials repo dot co dot uk forward slash Cody. Guys, I will leave a link to this in the description below. Then we're going to click OK. And you're going to give the source a name. So I'm going to call it buffer. You're going to click OK and OK once more. Then you're going to go back out. You're going to go to add-ons and you're going to click on the box on the top left corner. Then you're going to come down to install from zip file and you're going to look for what you named it as. I'm going to call mine buffer so click on that and then you're going to click on maintenance and at the top we've got easy advanced settings dot zip I'm going to click on that I'm just going to give it a few seconds for it to actually load up once it's loaded you will get a pop-up icon at the top right corner telling you add-on installed guys when using Kodi any add-on any source always use a VPN I will leave a link in the description please check it out as we see add-on installed then we're going to go back out right to the main menu before we even open the app or the add-on on we're going to actually get some details down so get a book get a pen page and start this we're going to go back to settings you're going to go to system information right depending on what system android box fire stick pc that you're using we need to start to work on the free memory. Remember, Kodi works with buffering and buffering it works on your memory. So depending on your memory size, that's how much you can actually buffer. So as you see, my system is on a 2 gigs of memory, which is 2000 megabytes. And my free is 870 megabytes. Right? So we're going to get our calculator ready. We're going to use the Windows calculator. Right, so you're gonna take your free memory. Do not take the whole memory. So I'm gonna work with about 850. Right, you're gonna take 850, and because memory works on bytes and kilobytes, we're gonna to start to do a calculation. Right, Cody uses three times your memory that you input in source. So we're gonna divide the figure by three. It's gonna give you a number. Then we're going to times it by 1024. It's going to give you another number. So we divided it and we brought it into from bytes to kilobytes. Now we need it in megabytes. So we're going to times it one more time by 1024. Guys, that's the figure you will actually need to input into Kodi. Right? Once you have that figure, you're going to go back out and you're going to go down to add-ons. You're going to move to the right and there you have it, easy advanced settings. Guys, this method I'm showing you will work on all devices and will give you the best buffer-free experience. will probably stop most of your buffering if not all right so we're going to go to edit 
settings. I'm going to come down to network settings. And we're going to come down to network. All right? Depends on which service you use, whether it's Cody 16 or Cody 17. Uh, most of you guys are already on Cody 17, so we're going to go down to Cody 17. As we see, memory size, buffer, and read factor. So we're going to go to memory size. We're going to enter our memory size, which is 297096533. Leave the decibel figures out. So you're going to go to 297. 593333 right so we're going to add the 293593333 297593333 and we're going to click OK. As you see, it updates under memory size. Then we're going to click on buffer mode and make sure buffer mode is set to 1. Then we're going to come down to read factor and make sure this is set on 4.0. Guys, these settings I've tested on a PC, Android box, and even an Xbox. And it works really well. I'm going to click OK. Once done, you're going to click on the two dots at the top. Two dots again. I'm going to go back up, two dots. And you're going to write to XML file. And there we have it, guys. File created. Easy advanced settings. So we already created the file for buffering. So we're just going to double check if it's been loaded. So you're going to view active advanced settings. And there we have it. There's our memory size. There's our read factor, network and advanced settings. Right. Once this is done, guys, I suggest closing Kodi and reopening it. So the settings take into effect. And that's it, guys. Leave your comments down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your Cody, buffer free. Thanks for watching.